morning and how are you today? We have a few chores I need to do. Uh, I'm going to get a blood test for my doctor to do a follow-up blood test from, I think we did it back in like March or something. Uh, and then I have to go to the post office and drop off two letters because Dakmar, one of our amazing subscribers and friends, is her birthday is coming up. And so I gotta send that one out. And Ashley, so Derek and Ashley, they're uh, part of the Patreon community that we have. And so her birthday is coming up. So I'm sending her a birthday card. Got those all organized. I also have to pick up some eggs at our local farm. So I've got a few things I have to do. Oh, it has to go to the bank too to see if they have my money. I'm hoping they have my, my euros. So it's seven days before our cruise, but uh, only uh, tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday, three days uh, until we leave to go to Venice. So we fly to Venice, we stay in Venice for I think three days, then we go to Trieste uh, and I think we're there for a full day and a half and then we get on the cruise ship and then we do a 10-day cruise and I think it's called the Greek Island Cruise Norwegian Dawn I believe we're on uh, you can check it out we're doing like Trieste well we're starting in Trieste and then we're going to S split and oh my god I'm trying to remember all the names Santorini and we're uh, Turkey and there's another place in Turkey we're going to but we're going to Istanbul and I can't remember what the other city is it's not as uh, popular or famous or whatever but there's some really cool stuff we want to do there uh, and then there's like there's 10 ports that we're going to so it's gonna be we're gonna be off the ship every single day yeah when we did the Alaska cruise I don't think we we're off the ship every single day but uh, this Mediterranean cruise like all the ports are so close uh, that we're gonna be hitting up 10 different ports in 10 days so uh, it'll be interesting because you know you're paying all this money to be on a ship and, and food and, and I'm not buying the beverage package or anything because it's gonna it's gonna be a huge waste of money because we won't be on the ship most of the time so the ship's just taking us to all these ports uh, and we're most I think we're doing maybe an excursion every other port uh, there are certain ports we definitely want to do certain excursions on and there's other ports again we've never been to any of these countries so just get us getting off the ship and walking around the city uh, is just going to be mind-blowing for us uh, people have been there many times they probably want to venture out and do farther things but again some of these uh, excursions are like six hundred dollars a person like you just can't you just can't afford to do an excursion every single uh, port some of them are like 75 bucks so uh, some of them are really cheap because there's walking tours uh, some of them are really expensive because you you know get on a train and go to this place and see all these things and they feed you and they give you beverages and stuff so we had to like pick and choose it was really difficult uh, this is probably the one of the most complicated trips we've ever ever been on because again it's like it's not like you're going to Cuba and you're going to the resort and you're hanging on the resort for a week. It's like 12 vacations in two weeks, basically, because you have to plan stuff every single day and every single location. And uh, so it's gonna be it's gonna be chaos. Uh, I I think I'm gonna come back 10 pounds lighter. That's how much walking we're gonna do. It's gonna be nuts. So there's a little insight as to the holiday plans. I can't wait to be in Venice for three days. That's gonna be, I think, Venice and Athens are gonna be my two highlights. Uh, Istanbul is definitely gonna be one of them. I just remember Dubrovnik is gonna be another city that uh, I really wanna do. There's a, there's a major wall that you get to walk around. There's a mountain that you can take a tram up to the top and then walk back down, uh, switchback type trail. Like I said, it's gonna be a lot of walking. Anyway, let's get the, uh, the blood done first. Then we'll mail the letters and we'll go to the bank uh, actually, we'll get the eggs after we do. We need to get the blood test done first. So 
I've been fasting and I can't drink any of my electrolyte stuff or coffee for 12 hours, which I haven't. So uh, right now I'm, that's why I wanna get my blood test done right now so I can have my coffee and some electrolytes. It's about a half hour wait, okay? Sure. Thank you. The wall of pain. Hello. How are you? All right. How are you doing today? Well, thank you. Right, Thanks again. <laughs> Thanks. Welcome. Beautiful day, but cold. It's about seven degrees Celsius. <laughs> Saw this beautiful car and the smash. Yikes. That's expensive fix right there. Got a lot of keyless entry, keyless ignition, blood test done. Now we gotta go get eggs. Eggs. display Hello. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. you too. I forgot once I got back in the car after the blood thing down some electrolytes it was on I did have lots of water this morning well, at least a big pint of it then also brought my coffee no cream straight up hmm these are my Costa Rica beans I've tried other beans. I just keep coming back to Costa Rica. It's just, it's just my favorite coffee. And the fact that I just started, I'm not sure some of you guys might not know the story. So when Carol and I did our 20th wedding anniversary, we went to Costa Rica. And when we were there, we, I, I was around the time I just started drinking coffee. I, I was a late bloomer to the coffee thing. And so I just started drinking coffee and then when we were in Costa Rica, we had fresh coffee from the freaking plants or the fields, whatever, freshly done. And uh, it tasted so good, I'm like, yeah. And then we found out that, that my coffee guy here has a Costa Rica blend, so I've been buying it. 
it's, I think it's like six, $16 a pound of beans. I grind my own beans. And that's that's my my little indulgence. It's a little more expensive than just buying like a huge keg thing of McDonald's coffee or Folgers. I think Folgers, Folgers and what's the other one? Folgers and Maxwell House. Those are the two. I remember buying the big ten for seven nine. There's a big fly in here. Seven ninety nine for a big ten. Uh, so I. Big ten of the Tim Hortons it used to be sixteen dollars. I think it's more than. I think it's around twenty one dollars now. So coffee just keeps going up and up and up. So if you ever have the chance to grind your own beans, find a country of beans that you like, and then stick with it. It's worth it. Next stop, bank. See if they got my euros. Sometimes you just miss that little gap. There's a sprinter, and the whole roof smashed in. That guy's turning, nobody's coming this way. Perfect, across the street, get into the bank. I haven't got like an email or anything that they have it yet, but uh, it, it's either today or tomorrow. But since I'm here, I thought I'd just do a quick run in, see if they have it. And the people at the, uh, the blood clinic were really fast. Because when I went in there, she's like a half an hour. And I sat down for less than five minutes and she, they called my name. So I was pretty happy about that. Okay, let's go see if we got, let's go see if they got my euros. Hello. Good morning. Just checking to see if uh, my euros are in. So we we'll here tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Tomorrow. All right. Yeah. Thank you. We'll All right. Thank you. Okay. Last up, birthday cards. Go find a mailbox. So, like I told her, I just was in the neighborhood when I checked yesterday to see if I had got a notification or anything because I wasn't sure exactly how they were going to contact me because I forgot to ask and they didn't tell me but uh, on the, the bank website it did say that it was shipped so and that was yesterday so I figured if it was shipped yesterday it should be there today I was just, again I was just in the neighborhood I'm willing to come back tomorrow I have to come back tomorrow or I'm doomed worst case scenario uh, they say if you don't pick your money up in a certain amount of time, then they just uh, refund your money and they convert it back, I think 10 days later, if you don't pick it up, but they're going to phone me. So uh, she didn't tell me that they're going to call. Again, if worse comes to worse, uh, I'll just have to take out some money out of my bank account on Saturday and go to the mall and use that current exchange a uh, currency exchange uh, company that's in the mall. Some people say it's cheaper there. Some people say it's cheaper to do it online at your own bank. I don't know. Post office box. So happy birthday, Dakmar. Happy birthday, Ashley. Time to go home. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed that little uh, run around day doing the blood, eggs, and bank and mailing out cards. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again in the next vlog.